iGEM is kind of a unique opportunity for students because not only do they get the experience of being in lab, um, we have to come up with our own project, design our experiments, troubleshoot our results, um, and at the end of the day we're responsible for the entire project. I think it's a really exciting field, uh, particularly for engineers, uh, bringing engineering concepts to biology. You have to come up with your own problem. You work in teams, which is kind of a great exercise, and you really rarely get it at the undergraduate level. The goal of our project is to create a biological system that will function as a nanofabricator, or in other words, an organism that is capable of manufacturing metal materials at the atomic level. This project has environmental as well as industrial applications. It can be used in the detoxification of water, for example. Oxidized heavy metals in the water can be reduced to their non-toxic forms using our biological system. This project also has applications in the production of quantum dots, or small crystals that act as semiconductors. These crystals can be manipulated to fluoresce at different colors at brighter intensities than traditional reporter genes and thus have a very strong biological application. They're also used in photovoltaic cells, or batteries that use the excitement of electrons as a source of power. An organism that is capable of producing small enough crystals that can be used in the production of quantum dots would be both safe and cost effective. A general schematic of our project is as follows. A cell such as E. coli will be able to detect the presence of charged metal particles in its environment, let's say silver and gold. Under situations where only silver is present, the cell will use a specific transporter protein to bring the charged particle into the cytoplasm, where a reducing enzyme will reduce the particle to its uncharged state. This particle can then be precipitated out of the cell as a silver crystal. A similar pathway will occur in the presence of gold particles only. The gold is taken into the cell, is reduced, and precipitated out in a similar fashion. In the presence of both inputs, the cell will use another enzyme that will complex the silver and gold particles to create a colloidal crystal. The software tools team is responsible for the modeling component of iGEM and is also working on their own project. The tools team of 2009 created a program that would allow the user to choose input and output compounds and then determine which enzymes were needed in the metabolic pathway involving those two compounds. This year's software tools team is in the phase of conceptualizing a program that will give the user not only a metabolic pathway, but also the bacterial plasma necessary to carry it out. The web-based program will begin with the recommended enzymes for each reaction, then access their DNA sequences, and then finally construct the plasmid for the user.